So, news on the Suffolk uh, Colt lawnmower. Yeah, I keep saying Suffolk Punch, but Suffolk Punch is, I think, is the bigger one, but um, we've got the Colt, yeah. Um, so, yeah, after what everybody's comments that they left on the last video, everyone said, uh, restore it, uh, which actually I'm quite happy about, because that's what I prefer to do, um, because I think I can make it look brand new, nearly, you know. Now, I know it's nice to keep things looking original, but at the end of the day, you know, it's rusting, and it's just going to get eventually worse and then if you decide to rub oil in it and all that sort of thing um you're going to cut the lawn and get all the grass stuck to it all the time aren't you <laughs> let's be honest I, I thought about that after you know um but yeah so let me flip the camera over so we are going to restore the lawnmower um <laughs> not sure when i'm going to do this yet i might wait until the autumn uh to do it because i'm actually using it at the minute to cut the lawn with because it's quite cool you know um now i have degreased it all completely so it looks a lot a lot better with just a lot better with just the grease off. Now, I have had to do a few modifications on this, unfortunately, uh, to keep using it because there's a few things that were broken on it. So I've got a set of grips, yeah. Um, the other one is as well. Uh, the sticker on the side is missing, and on the front, it's a bit. Uh, it looks good for its age, but if I restore it and paint it, uh, you know, I want to put the original sticker back on. So I went on eBay and somebody is selling two of the stickers in Australia. Would you believe Australia? Yeah. Um, for about eight pounds, including the postage. Uh, the correct ones, correct size, uh, everything about them. So I've ordered those, so they're still on the way. So I'll show you them when they come. Um, and the other thing I've had to repair on it is the gasket here on the carburetor. Um, You'll see this again in the future videos because I am going to take all this apart and clean all this properly, you know. But um, the gasket had gone here and it was leaking petrol out and it wasn't really doing a good enough job. Um, so I've got another one of those. That came from eBay as well. It was about £3. And the other one is, you notice I've got a new fuel pipe and a new fuel tap. Um, so I had a bit of a problem. I was cutting the lawn about four days ago uh, and the original tap is here. Um, so it's a shame it broke really because I think this is the original tap um, and basically what I was I was just cutting the lawn and the bit of the pipe let me show you so here's the original fuel pipe the plastic bit inside it just randomly snapped off all right so uh, yeah I couldn't really do anything with that to be honest I thought I could push it on that little bit but it's just not enough really um, and I thought, you know, you could put a smaller pipe inside, but then I thought, well, you're not really going to get the right fuel flow. So, uh, unfortunately, I had to go for a new tap uh, and a pipe, which was about £5. And this, this pipe's gone a bit skanky anyway. I mean, if we're going to paint it up and do it all up, uh, you want a nice fresh pipe on it anyway. So, paint matching. Now, I've been online and nobody seems to have a paint code for any of these parts, yeah? So, we've got orange, green red and a sort of grey here yeah um now like i say i just can't seem to find a paint code for it anywhere i've been looking and everyone just says i have to take the pieces off and walk in um well the closest one for me is probably granville's in peterborough and then have the paint matched with one of those laser things and then they um they'll make me a few tins of paint to do it with um but yeah so that's what I'm going to have to do, I think, to get the right colour matches. But like I say, we are going to do it up. But at the moment, I am just using it, uh, you know, during this summer. Oh, sorry about that thing flying across. So it's the garage door bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you're wondering what that was. So yeah, it's looking good, I think. Just with the clean. So this is literally just like, say, an update video to let you know what's happening. But uh, unfortunately, you might have to wait until October, maybe September, October sort of time, you know, when I actually start on it. Because um, I'll use it, you know, I'll do it when it's winter time, really. You might as well, because you're not going to use it, are you? Um, but yeah, like I say, we're going to restore the Suffolk, um, he said punch again, nearly. But the Suffolk Colt lawnmower, so it's going to be quite a good one and it'll be nice for next year. Um, but I do like these sort of things. You know, a lot of people take them down the tip and think, you know, throw them away just because it's old. And it's like, well, just because it's old doesn't mean it's no good, you know. Some older stuff is better than modern day things, you know. Um, but they just want like a little bit of a tidy up or whatever. But yeah, it runs well. I've been, like I said, I've, been the, I've cut the lawn probably six, seven times with it now and it goes perfect. It does a really nice job. It looks like a bowling green at the moment. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, like I say, um, stay tuned for that and I'll bring you a new video very soon when we actually start on it. So thanks for watching. Uh, big hello to my new subscribers and like I say, keep sharing and liking all the videos and I'll see you all very soon when I uh, actually get started on it.